Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. A total solar eclipse headed our way for some of us, not for all of us, and we're going to hear a lot more about this. So I want to break down the spots where there'll be the total eclipse and where there'll, there'll be the partial eclipse. This is going to happen pretty soon, April 8th this year. It's going to happen, and that's when you get the passage of the moon's shadow. What happens in an eclipse like this is that the moon itself is between the sun and the earth, and at a time, it will block out of the sunlight and it will get dark. It's an incredible sight to have a total eclipse. There was an annular eclipse that happened back in October. Uh, that one, the moon's a little bit in its orbit, was a little bit farther away from the Earth, so it didn't block out all of the sunlight, so uh, that wasn't a total. But this one is going to be a total solar eclipse. Now, in the darker shading is where that total part will be, but parts of the Gulf of Mexico, almost all of the Gulf of Mexico will at least have a partial eclipse in right on the edge of the Caribbean, but most of this will be just just to the northwest of the Caribbean. Let me show you first where the total eclipse will be, and then I want to look at the paths of some uh, future eclipse uh, uh, happenings, uh, especially one up toward Europe. But this here, this solar one, is going to happen April 8th and kick through Mexico. So here's the Baja, Mexico, Cabo San Lucas right here. So right through here, a total eclipse. And in Mexico, the longest duration, we're looking at over four minutes, about four and a half minutes of a total. That is some impressive stuff. Uh, tons of viewing out of this. And then it makes its way up toward Texas in the United States. Here is Dallas, Fort Worth, clipping by parts of Oklahoma. Here's Little Rock, Arkansas. That's where the total will be. Outside of this, though, again, there's going to be a solid partial eclipse where you will get that darkening of the sky even back toward New Orleans. And then as we move forward, you see here, here's Indiana, Ohio. This is where it's going to work in. Just off to the northwest of uh, West Virginia, sliding over toward the Great Lakes, Niagara Falls on April 8th. It is going to be a crazy, amazing sight, uh, upwards of about a three, uh, three and a half minute total eclipse right across Niagara Falls. And then this moves into the Atlantic region of Canada. You see it here over toward New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island in uh, Newfoundland. The duration a little bit less in Newfoundland, for example, about a three minute total eclipse. Again, April 8th. Now here are the paths this decade of uh, what we've been seeing this here was the annular eclipse, that one that moved by, brushed by Central America and parts of the uh, Caribbean and the United States. That happened back on October 14th of the past year. This is the path we're going to see right here on April 8th. And then you see in uh, 2026, for example, we got another one right here as we get back toward parts of Europe and another one in 2028 that'll move by very close to the Caribbean as it moves through parts of South America. And then again, up toward Europe. A lot going on globally. I'll keep you posted on all of that. Now, right now, we have a front working out of Bermuda. I want to get into parts of the Northeast U.S. and uh, Canada in a second, but the tail end of the front moving by uh, parts of the Caribbean. And then another system that worked into California, that one has been uh, kind of dying out or at least falling apart to a degree. Now, here's the tail end of the front today. It moves through Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. We'll see a slightly better chance of rain as expected. We've been talking about this since last week. So let me start wide, then I'll zoom down into different locations. But here's the system trying to make its way away from Bermuda, the tail end of the front moving by. Northeastern Caribbean, the rain chance picks up. Now, I always want to show you what's next. The next front cranking up through the United States. This one, though, is not a super big one. There'll be some rain, there'll be some snow. I'll zoom down in a second. But you can see here the tail end of this front moving through Florida by the time we get into Friday afternoon afternoon and Friday evening. Could see a few more showers, Florida into the Bahamas. But as far as this one goes, it's not a big one. So just kind of scraping by the Northern Caribbean. Most of us will not even know it's there. And then another spin off the coast of California, that one kind of hanging there. So let me show you a couple different spots. I'll zoom down into the Caribbean right now. For today, better chance of rain, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British and U.S. Virgin Islands over toward uh, Seba, Stacia may catch a couple of these showers. Not a washout and most of this now to the east of the Bahamas and to the east of the Turks and Caicos. Southern zones, we have been so dry. Trinidad, for example, we have still been dealing with some of the lingering dust out there. Until we get some rain, the air quality is not going to be super great. As we work our way into our Thursday, 
That front brushing by the northeastern Caribbean could pick up a couple showers here and there. And you see the western Caribbean, we're mainly dry. Cayman Islands, Jamaica, we're going to have a lot of sunshine over the next few days back through Cuba. And then moving into our Friday forecast, there's the next front just clipping by Florida as we work our way into our Friday afternoon. As far as rain totals go, if you do get some rain, and not all of us will, the rain totals are not very high. That's not great news for the cisterns. We'll take what we could get. Here's Haiti, the Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, through the Virgin Islands, over towards St. Martin, uh, St. Bart's, Antigua, and Barbuda. If you get some rain, 10 millimeters to about 25 millimeters. Some of us could get an inch of rain at best, but that would be just about it. I want to move to the north now. The system pulling out of Bermuda. Here's the Atlantic region of Canada. Here's as we here is uh, New England. And again, you see this system that is bringing the change of the winds, which I'll show you in the Caribbean. The top part of it is going to scrape by uh, Newfoundland as we work our way into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. There'll be some rain for some of us, some snow for some of us, and then the system will move away as we work our way into Friday. But then we watch out for the next system. You see it here, some rain parts of New England down through the D.C. area, little snow to the north of there. The parent part of the storm system will kind of lift more to the north. Better chance of some rain as you get over toward uh, New Brunswick. Could get brushed by some snow, northern zones, rain to the south, Prince Edward Island uh, over toward Nova Scotia. You see that chance of rain in Newfoundland as we work our way into our Saturday morning with some snow to the north. But with that front moving by now in the Caribbean, winds have turned out of the north. Small changes, subtle changes. I hope some of your overnight low temperatures have been a little bit cooler, a little more refreshing. So this is today that north uh, westerly breeze trying to work its way down toward Puerto Rico. And we'll see that tomorrow. Tomorrow on our Thursday, winds more out of the north across the Virgin Islands, even down toward the ABC Islands. But of course, the air modifies at that point. We're not looking at cold air getting all the way down to South America. And then with the next front moving near Florida by Friday, Friday, winds will turn a little more out of the southeast over toward Honduras, Belize, and a little more out of the south over toward the Cayman Islands, Cuba, and Jamaica on Friday. Now, Jamaica, we're mainly dry. I mentioned Jamaica, Cayman Islands, mainly on the dry side the next uh, few days. Rain chance about 20% with some of that dust around in Trinidad and Tobago. Barbados, about a 30% chance tomorrow and about a 20 to 30% chance in St. Lucia. Hope we get a couple showers around Grenada. Could see a few isolated showers. Same thing, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, where we also have some of that Saharan dust. Martinique, rain chance 20% and about a 20 to 30% chance in Dominica. And as we bump up to the north in Guadeloupe, holding on to about a 20 to 30% chance through Friday. This is where it gets a little higher. Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance about 40% today and about a 30 to 40% chance tomorrow. Could see an isolated shower tomorrow and Friday. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And you see the 40% chance the next couple days. Anguilla and St. Bart's. 30 to 40% chance St. Martin, Saba, and Stacia. Hope we get a couple showers around Puerto Rico. The rain chance is higher today, not all day washout, but some scattered showers the next couple days, and we'll see a few around the British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Rain chance higher today in the Dominican Republic, and then it drops off. We may catch a shower in Haiti. Today would be the day, and then we're mainly on the dry side. Bahamas, most of the action off to the east. Same thing in the Turks and Caicos, mainly on the dry side. As we get back toward Cuba, also a lot of sunshine the next three days. Belize over toward the Yucatan of Mexico. Uh, you get over toward Cancun. Rain chance stays very limited the next couple of days. Rain chance about 20% in Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. More with that easterly. And then northerly flow we may catch a shower, but that would be it. Rain chance 30% in Bermuda starting to go down as that system moves away. Uh, Costa Rica, scattered showers possible today, even back toward Panama. Rain chance about 30% in Guyana today. It's pretty low and mainly dry as we get toward Suriname. Northern Venezuela, only a small chance of a shower. So the front moving by today, rain shower for some of us in our northern zones. A slight temperature drop with those northerly breezes and then mainly dry in our southern sections. And of course, I'll monitor any earthquakes and volcanic activity. Thank you so much for being with me and I hope you have a great rest of your day.